Oh, at the puzzle shop. Oh, no way. Tell me about it. Okay, I'm let's go inside. I want to show you. You can't tell. You've got to see. Oh, thank well, you. Welcome to the puzzle place. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's a thank shop you. that we've been going for a little over 30 years now, creating puzzles. Okay. Uh, we are social distancing. If you want to drop the masks, that's perfectly all right. Oh, thank Otherwise, you. Otherwise, I'm messed up and I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, okay. Um, sure. People come into the puzzle place expecting to find 500 piece flat puzzles. Sorry, we don't do that. We have multiple, we make a hundred different types of puzzles, different parts of the brain we challenge, and it's all locally crafted. May I introduce you to my easy puzzle? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> easy puzzle. <laughs> you know, you know, we were trying to do a puzzle outside, it seems two moves. Okay, well, so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go a little bit easier for you. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to start you off on a one move puzzle. Oh, no. Two little pieces yeah. for you. Two little pieces for you. Okay. Please put them together and make that shape. Oh. Okay. That is a triangular based pyramid. It is called a tetrahedron. It's a shape made up of four triangles. All right. Now I've given you two little pieces to put together. When you put them together correctly, you can pop them down on the table. <laughs> Missy, what did we get ourselves into? People, people, what did you get us into? <laughs> People always tell me, well, show me the solution. I say, no, I won't show the solution. I haven't done so for years. Defeats the object of the puzzle. People do not get excited when they're shown how to do something. Okay. But they do excited when they achieve it by themselves. Okay. It's the only puzzle, if you wish, I will assist you. We yes. wish. I won't show you how to do the puzzle. Okay. I'll teach you how we can tweak our incredible brains. Okay. We're not taught how to analyze a problem. So let's analyze this first of all. Okay. We take a look at that, and I said four triangles. Can you see any squares in that shape? No. 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 Okay, fine. Pick up your pieces, please. Show me a side that looks like a square. Oh, there. You've got two of them. Yes. But there's no squares here, so what you're going to do is hide the squares. Put the squares <laughs> face to face, hide them. Oh. Unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> oh that is amazing. Go. It's the simplest two move puzzle. Oh, what you've got to do is. We put them together symmetrical. Yeah. We can change our brain and put them together as asymmetrical. Nobody oh, does wow. that. Wow. This is three dimensional perception, part of the brain okay. we don't use today. Our lives are dominated with, dominated with a two dimensional cell phone, laptop, Xbox, iPad, TV. We don't okay. use logical. You mentioned a little puzzle outside. I think you're probably playing with that one there. Yes. There you go, right? yes. That, is, <laughs> that is a two move puzzle. Now, I'm not going to show you how to do this. Okay. But that's an incredibly challenging little puzzle. Yeah, well, it's it's purely <laughs> logical. The object is to take the ring off, leave the strings attached. They cannot be removed. That can be done in two moves. In two moves. I'm going to start you on that one. I'm yeah. going to give you a different one. Oh, this is one of my all-time favorites. This is also a remove the ring challenge. Three moves. This is logical. I love that one for the coffee table. You know, when the friends and family come around to visit and they look at this and they say, oh, there's some beautiful wood there. I use African woods, by the way. Okay. There's beautiful wood. Um, then you chuckle and you say, well, all you have to do is remove the ring. Excellent time to go and make the tea or coffee. <laughs> you know when you come back to the tea or coffee, they're still playing with the puzzle. They're still trying to figure these things out. Oh, hang on. I think I might be onto something. People frequently tell me my puzzles are Jeez. impossible. I say, no. Every single one can be done. The pyramid you played with is a level one puzzle. What you're playing now is a level two puzzle. I go right up to level six puzzles. <laughs> beautiful, up beautiful puzzle yeah. called the Gordian Knot. Okay. I initially saw that in plastic, and now I make them out of wood. Okay. Now, Do you make all of these? I make all of these. I've got wow. three staff working with me, 12 k's up the road. Okay. And we do all this. Very talented wow. people. Okay. I figured, how do I make the most challenging puzzle ever more challenging? Not difficult. I'll take <laughs> away the color. Oops. Okay. Yeah. Those are, for the, for the person who enjoys a puzzle, that is absolutely brilliant. Mm. They make incredible gifts. They do, they do. What I have found is the most challenging person to buy a gift for is the adult male. What do you buy the guy who's uh, got I know. It wait, 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 wait. I know, Ian. Ah, you've seen that one. Do I win the, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I win the prize? I call this the most sadistic <laughs> puzzle I make. It's not the most challenging. It is a five-move puzzle. When it is locked into position... Okay. I, I'm just let me have that one. Okay. When it's locked into position, the string goes through here and prevents this from coming off. Okay. So he, he's got to solve the puzzle here to get that off so he can lift that up okay. and take the bottle out. When it's all locked up, it's only a five move challenge. 
but it drives people nuts. Well, you know, I bought. I'm not going to do the whole lot. I'm just going okay. to give you an idea of what happens here. It's there, and that comes through here. Now that cannot be removed, so this cannot come up. Well, I um, do show the purchaser how to lock the bottle in place. And that's it, because I know this, because I bought this for one of my sellers, oh. pre-COVID. Okay. <laughs> and during COVID, he couldn't get it off. <laughs> so that's yeah. why I support you, because you, 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 no, it's my pleasure. I love your shop. Um, you personalize gifts. Yes. And that's what I love about your, yes. your shop here, yes. is that um, many of my gifts that I have personalized, mm. and my sellers and my purchasers, and the one, they had three children, so I bought them. Uh, yeah, and, and they just yeah. loved it. They I do a lot of corporate it. business where we, we, I've got a little laser engraver, or get a big one. Um, I can laser engrave corporate logos. I've done a lot of corporate business over the years. Okay. They want things like icebreakers. They want a special, special gift for somebody who's retiring or leaving. And yeah. what can personalize it we do on that. That's what we find here. The puzzles in this section of my shop are logical. Left okay. side brain. Okay. Theoretically, this is your accountant, your engineers. All uh, right. No. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. So we shouldn't feel bad. <laughs> yeah. Don't feel bad at all. This okay. is using different parts of the brain. Okay. I've seen brilliant people in my shop, members of medicine, degrees a mile long, not succeeding, getting frustrated because they can't do the darn things. I said, you cannot increase intelligence. The beautiful part is we can change the way we think. We need to learn how to think. These become brilliant for problem solving that you can apply right throughout life. If you learn okay. different ways of looking at things, you can do problem solving abilities. My speciality, something that's kept me going for me all the years, is my three dimensional puzzles. There's a few examples up there of what we do. Okay. Every different styles, shapes, designs, little laser engraving examples we've done in the past as well. That's, see, so that's why we're here, because we've got Father's Day coming up as well. Exactly. And um, we were chatting about, Missy and I were chatting about, you know, how can we uh, support the, the our local who, uh, people who Much have appreciated. suffered. No pleasure. During COVID and stayed open. Yes. Yeah. So so a big thank you to, to well, the locals for supporting due you. Due to the local support, um, people come in and they say, gee, was you still open? I said, Yes. Thanks to the local support we have been able to maintain. Yeah. And we just keep, want to keep on going. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. so May I have you a very, very brief demonstration of what I do with my three-dimensional puzzles? Uh, okay. These yeah. are my all-time favorites. I'm going to go through a very quick demo if I can. Okay. I have a little piece, a little puzzle like that. Now, that has got ten pieces in it. All right. And what confuses the heck out of people is the fact that there's no painting, no picture on my puzzle to show people which side of the piece is on top. Oh, or wow. Every puzzle you've ever played with has been machine cut vertically. Okay. I've got a little machine called a scroll saw. I cut angle cut them. That goes in easily. So this gets done by hand? Every this single... Everyone's hand cut. Every single puzzle is unique. I cannot and will not ever duplicate. When I angle the pieces, it means that some pieces have got to go in before the surrounding pieces. Okay. So you have a sure, sequence of sure. order. There's something you've had and had, never had to contend with a puzzle before. Sure. The most popular of all the puzzles I've ever made I love this wood. This is African Kiat. This is the most beautiful wood to work with. It's got color. It's got character. It's absolutely superb. This is my large Africa, which I can attend, I can change the concept to any other shape if you wish. Okay. So and here I have a little order. rhino. I have an elephant. I have a springbok. Hand cut. The size of the blade is 0 0.2 of a millimeter. Sure. And the, what surprises people, which they've never ever seen in a puzzle before, is my little hidden secrets that I put into here. And this surprises people. There's another layer. Oh, look at that. Now, we don't live on a flat earth. We live in the hills and the valleys, especially up here. So we create the hills and the valleys through the middle of the puzzle. Oh, wow. There's a springbok here. There's a dolphin there. There's six little animals inside this puzzle. And we found this can keep an adult going for about six hours. Sure, sure. What we do for the men, well, we do all these for the men, obviously. You know, I'm going to have to find a sequence of order of putting that one back in, so it's going to take me a little while. Put I'm going to pop that to one side. side. Local timbers. This is jacaranda. Okay. A car. Looks fairly simple. I say we keep the car simple so men can do them. <laughs> uh, but hang on, we add a little extra into this as well. We take that. Now this one I'm going to have fun with. Tap in. Oh! <gasps> Oh, no, we put another that. layer of puzzle inside. 
And instead of the name of the vehicle, the Porsche 944, I'll put an individual's names, initials, registration numbers. We personalize it. Okay. We've done hundreds of different cars. I've done the Rolls Royce, Minis, Mercs, VWs, BMWs. You tell me which car you want. I've got the biggest library in the world. It's called Internet. <laughs> I can find the side profile picture. Uh, that's, that's a three-hour challenge. That's a six-hour challenge. I pump up to triple layers. I just recently got this one made. That is a beautiful African Kiat triple layered. What would something like this go for? Uh, no, that I'm going to have to double check. Always, I keep my own pricing here for okay. the peoples. That is an animal triple layer large. That is 1280. But so it's triple layers of puzzle. Three layers of puzzle inside there. Wow. I put here the challenge is about five hours. Okay. One like that, the double layer, the most popular of all of them. That one is fourteen hundred at six hours. And I range long? from three thirty. And how from long about does it take you to make one of these? Yourself? I need ten working days. Ten working days. And sure. yeah. the cost to purchase that at fourteen hundred Rand, it's hundred and forty Rand a day for labor. So how can you beat that? Yeah. It's Absolutely. not easy. <laughs> <laughs> sure, this is so exciting yeah. for Father's Day gifts. Well, this, um, this looks very interesting, that one there. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm sure everybody recognizes the Harley Davidson. Okay. Oh, yes. That's the Harley Davidson big boy. Very, very popular. Wow. How many layers is this? That's one? a double layer. A double layer. Now we'll put the names of people inside them, same as we've done with the, um, the, the, the other vehicles. And I said, well, if you've got a special bike, you tell me. Yeah. If you've got a special car, you tell me. Um, had a chap who came in, he's got a 1969 Alfa Romeo Julieta. Can you make a puzzle with Dave inside? I said, no problem. He came in, he owns it. He came and saw the puzzle, he said, oh, wow, yeah, that's incredible. I'm going to tip that out this evening. That, that is going to be my, <laughs> my fun for this evening. I love that. Sure, so that is amazing. We've had enormous fun with these. I can upgrade as well. I can put them into little presentation boxes. There we go. Oh, I can add the brass clocks. We do, we do corporate logos onto the top of them or on the insides. So actually, A you know, it's not just gifts. Father's Day gifts. It's everything. It's everything. Yeah. This is just and I mean, really some moms are just as obsessed with their cars. So Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. The other thing we found is also proving uh, worthwhile is um, wedding favors. You know, people have the weddings and they want gifts for the people who have been there. Well, we have a whole selection. We have um, about 40 crafters supplying us. Hobbyists, pensioners, they are local. We've been, this, they've um, been supporting yeah. me for something like 30 years. And, uh, yeah, oh, wow. we have some amazing oh, crafters, amazing this. talented people. <laughs> a lady. Let's um, <laughs> see, of course I would love this. It's a wine well, bottle holder. <laughs> So you put that on your bottle of wine and hold your glasses here. Oh, fabulous. Yeah. Fabulous. It's only 70 Rand. One lady for that um, had uh, about 70, uh, 70 visitor people at the wedding. Yeah. She wanted 70 sets. But she didn't want the little Africa shape in it. She wanted the bride and the groom's name engraved onto them. Oh, I said, no problem. Yeah. Can do. Oh, that's we, she fantastic. gave us a little bit of a warning in time. Sure. And this is how we can personalize, make things totally different. So you yourself, being a small shop, you actually also support smaller people than yourself. Absolutely. That is wow. amazing. And there are so many talented people around us. It's absolutely amazing. So Ian, we, have a, we heard a little rumor about uh, people coming from all over the world. Oh, yes. And I love that story, <laughs> and I'm dying to share it with people. I've been going since 1991. I started with my three-dimensional puzzles at that time. I decided to find out, 97 I think I started, I want to find out where in the world my puzzles travel to. So I managed to get myself a world map over here. Each of these pins there represents one of my puzzles, where people have physically been into my shop and they put a pin in the place for me. I had a problem with Europe. I very rapidly ran out of space. I put a second map up. As you can see, the big blob on the left-hand side, that is England. I ran out of space there. So I put a third map up. For England. Oh, so each one of these is where your puzzle is. Exactly. That's where people have come into my wow. shop. So that's every pin. Bought, I've purchased. I've, I said, please put a pin where it's going to. We've gone right up into the Arctic Circle. We've done right throughout Russia and China. Small but you can islands. see where our majority of visitors come to South Africa from. Yes. From England, from the States, Australia, New Zealand. Yes. Jeez. The puzzle has been taken it's right over there. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. 
And I love it when people come in four years later and they say, we were here four years ago, we bought a puzzle, that's our pin, we want another one. We want another one. I said, fantastic. That's really Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank and you. Thank you for very having, much for the visit. Um, yeah, so, so um, it's Missy and I, uh, we just, we, we were here the other day to meet you and we were just so, so excited and we really urge locals to support you. We thank, thank you. them oh, yes. for supporting Absolutely. you. We wouldn't be viable in business if we didn't get the local support. We are open six days a week. I take a Monday holiday. Thank you. So we're, open, <laughs> we're open Saturdays and Sundays. We have our staff working and helping us during the week. It's Cheryl putting puzzles together. All put together. All crafted here. Okay. Oh, that's very exciting. Well, thank you so much. So, guys, if Rissy and I don't see you through the week, we'll see you through the window. Bye.